Hi, it's Tony here again from the Think to Thrive team with the next video for you in this stream series. What thoughts are you putting into that mental uh, stream every day during this time of lockdown? Providing solutions for you as well. So here's today's problem, which I'm sure you've experienced. It's that feeling of like, oh, you know, why did this have to happen? Or that feeling that things are bad that frustration that comes through that feeling. Oh, you know, why has this had to happen? It's so bad. So I'm going to provide a solution for that problem. Here's the solution. It's quite a simple one. It's letter R. You're going to remind yourself of one or two facts that again flip this situation around. So every day, I'm, my solution is to remind myself of these three simple things that I've got on this piece of paper that I am doing on a daily basis to get me out of that negative mindset into a positive mindset. So here they are. First of all, I remind myself on a daily basis, there is always good in the bad. There is always good in the bad in this situation. What is the good in how you might perceive this bad right now? So what is the good every day for me that I'm doing on a daily basis in lockdown, what is the good in what could be seen, perceived as a bad situation? Well, for example, I can remind myself, well, you've got time like you've never had before to get that book finished, to get that project finished, to think about something which always needed time to be shut away to get on with that. That's where you are. Obviously, you'd love to be out there serving at a greater capacity. This is a form of service as a teacher. I've always served, but I've been told now to lock down. So how can I use that time in a productive way? I remind myself of that every day. So I don't wake up and say, oh, I know, I know the horrible day of Groundhog Day. I get up and I remind myself, use this time. Don't mess this up. The third one that I remind myself on a daily basis, it is so powerful at getting your mind focused is what learning are you having right now? What learning is taking place within your own marvellous mind? What are you learning? Well, I'm learning, for example, there's some wonderful, amazing people out there that are keeping us all safe. It's incredible. They're, they're, we know who all these silent heroes are. I remind myself of that every day. I've learned that. I've learned something else. I've learned that we'll never be the same again after this experience, but in a positive way. I believe those silent heroes now within our society will be raised up. And I think there's going to be a shift in where we attach value to people, services, ideas, products, industry, organisations. It's time for that change. I remind myself of that every day. Incredibly powerful. So I'll leave you with that thought. Another empowering solution. What can you do every day to remind yourself that actually you can flip this round so you don't stay in that negative mindset? How does this relate to the triangle, that set triangle? Well, of course, yes, again, it's thinking. It's how we're using our thoughts. It's that aspect of that triangle. I'm going to hand over now to my good friend, Mike Hendricks, who's going to take this video a bit further. What does Mike do every day that is a form of reminding himself about some aspect that he reminds himself every day? He's very good at this, actually, Mike. Mike, what do you do every day for this solution? Thanks again, Tony. Now, what I do on a daily basis to remind myself is something simple. And it's something that I've developed a habit of doing over the years. I remember going back probably over 10 years now, I attended with Tony a Bob Proctor, Bob Proctor seminar. And he introduced me to the concept of goal cards. And a goal card is something that you may have heard of yourself before, but it's just a simple reminder that you carry around with you with your goals on it. So your goals of what you want to achieve, whether that being um, physically or career-wise or relationship-wise or financially, you write down your goals on that particular card and you carry it around with you. Now it might be a series of goals. It may be just a statement saying that something that you're declaring. And that's what I do. I've got mine here. It's a simple one that I just take around with me, put my hand in my pocket, and when I touch it and feel it, it reminds me of what my goals are. Now, if you're someone, which I'm assuming you are because you're here still watching this video, if you're someone that's wanting to change, you wanting to improve, you wanting to elevate, or you're someone looking to 
negotiate these very difficult waters that we find ourselves in at the moment. Or it may be that you're in a position in your life where you're not happy with. A gold card can really help because as Tony said, it reminds you, it takes you back to thinking about what not is currently going on, but where you want to be. Now one tip that's helped me enormously really enlightened me to um, enhance this goal card is to think about a time where something really good happened before. So that may be a birthday, maybe a wedding, it may be a time you receive promotion, maybe when you receive some good news. Now think of how you felt in that particular moment. Now as you're doing that, think about your goals because you're doubling up and really underlining, so to speak, those feelings of what felt good then, but also what you'd like to achieve in the future. And that's something that really helps me bring forth into my life certain experiences and situations that I never really could have imagined. And all I was, do, all I was doing was drawing on those feelings from the past and bringing them to the present and thinking about the things that I want to experience in the future. Now that may work for you as well because you're reminding yourself of you know what it likes to feel a particular way you know from that celebration that good news that you received and what it will also feel like when you achieve your specific goal whatever that may be so give it a go keep reminding yourself use a goal card take notes journal whatever it is that works for you to help to remind you of the things that aren't going to be the way they are now you are moving towards a better tomorrow a better future a better you Okay, until next time, be well, stay energized to your success.